we're looking to bring electricity into rural areas of the Congo. And this is an area where people use kerosene for lighting each day. And on top of that, to be able to charge their cell phones, they go to operators of diesel generators and pay them basically per minute or per hour to charge their phones. So we're looking to come in and replace kerosene and the use of electricity through generators by having solar panels and batteries. And we want the batteries to be essentially a kit that customers can go home with. So we are exactly doing the same thing that they have been doing. Um, this is just the, instead of buying kerosene, they'll pay for the battery and they swap their battery, get a fully charged battery. So the quality that they get from this for the LED light is much higher than the quality that they have with the kerosene. At the same time, it's about uh, half of the price of what they're already paying for the kerosene. The pilot village that we are looking in, it's called Mboka Pal. It's one hour away from the Kinshasa, which is the capital of the country. So Congo has, is one of the countries that has the least amount of electricity penetration inside. So it's about 14% based on the la latest um, data that they looked up. So it's just 14% of the, the country, the people in the country have access to electricity. And there is a huge market over there that it's untapped market. And what's really interesting is there is a high voltage power line that passes from uh, the Inga dams, which is sort of near Kinshasa and, and the Congo River, and it goes down to the southern region of the country. And that power line passes right over a number of villages. And in fact, Mboka Falls is one of those villages where you can see this high voltage power line giving electricity to another area of the country, but nobody along the line of that high, vo high voltage power line has any access to it. So it doesn't make any sense, right? There's this complete oversight in terms of where resources are being spent in terms of having people have access to energy. And we hope we can be a, a part of that solution going forward. And there are a number of countries, companies, in, in countries in Sub-Saharan Africa that are, are starting to address this. We mentioned Off-Grid Electric, B-Box is another one, and none of them are focusing on Congo at the moment, so we're hoping that we can use what we've learned from their approach and provide a model that can make a real difference.